Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. I was just checking the map to make sure I didn't miss any other uh, manuscript pages, since that was embarrassing. Because last time we found one that uh, was so significant that I was actually annoyed I hadn't found it before. I like that this is the icon they use for nursery rhymes, a um, uh, crescent moon with a music note above it. Shout out to Yornick, who says, Fun, question mark, fact, three question marks, originally there were two maiden dolls. Another one was made by Agent Dancer from some nuts, bolts, and wire, and gifted to his partner, who's a big Iron Maiden fan. <laughs> These two detectives are very different, but they work real well together. Isn't that always the way? Yes, we found this nursery rhyme right at the end last time. And it says... Let's see, before we look at that, the symbols we've got are a boat, ring, and a necklace, uh, ocean waves, heart with stripes on it, and a chick peeking out of its egg. All things we've seen before. A devil with a prize lured the animals too, to his boat all shiny and new. Who would float and who would sink, asked the devil with a wink. The moose went splash, the deer sailed on. But which one of them was therefore gone? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. A devil with a prize. So that'll be the, the ring and the necklace. Monster? Moose goes in... Wait. Yeah, moose goes in the water. Bo Spindall representing a moose. And deer goes in the boat. Doesn't look right. I feel like it's this one. Oh, trickster doll. Makes sense. This is ridiculous. Oh, for fuck's sake. The, uh... The boat with the moose statue in it is now upside down. Oh! And that one has a uh, charm in it. Hell. Uh, this is stupid. A waste. A crossbow bolt. So I can just grab this. I'm since, getting quite the charm collection. Since I really, really, really don't want to make my way back into this area and out again, you know, from that looks weird. I'm kind of surprised there isn't another one with a deer statue in it, to be perfectly honest. I didn't think this, the things worked that way. Uh, there it is. Mr. Drippy Charm. Increases damage dealt when low on health. I believe they call that cornered in Starfield. Lower your health. Except that's, uh, rather than you are low on health, here is a damage boost. That's a direct... Uh, comparison thing. The lower your health, the higher the damage. You know, risk-reward stuff. You know, here's a shotgun that will melt faces at close range, but, uh... It actually does less damage than a normal shotgun if you're at full health. So you run around on the brink of death knowing that any attack could bring you down, but that every attack from you will just obliterate them. How the fuck did I miss this? Oh, I'm... I'm full. Well, you know... Your wish was my command. Batteries and bullets. Can't argue with that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why can't I grab that? Oh, because it filled it up. Great. All right. Uh... You know what? Fuck it. I shall walk away. Wait, what's this? 
No, no, more bolts in the wall. Fine. So, so you see, I see the smile on the balloon, and I suddenly wonder what's behind the smile, and... I know that wouldn't make any sense, because then anyone who, uh... Popped that balloon could win the, uh... Could open the, 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 the cult stash. Oh, that's that same bear, except that's clearly a plush and not the wooden model. I said bear, I meant uh, moose, because I was thinking of the bear right next to it. Right, okay. Just keep that in mind, there's some crossbow bolts at the, uh, the games area. Um, okay, yeah. The fastest way back to town is probably through the main entrance. Wait, no, is that that way or the way to my right? Oh, look at that, it even marked them on the map. Jesus Christ, they look messed up after I finish with them, don't they? I mean, headshots do more damage, but that just means I've seen a lot of people with no fucking face. I'm real glad that wasn't, uh... Oh, I must have just seen one of the white rocks. Thought it was an A prompt. Oh, I see. My mistake. that? Hmm. I don't know, that's just the biggest of the statues. Thought maybe the, uh, the number was there. That should be that path that leads out of the, uh, park. Yes, good! Okay! On to something here. I still don't have investigate the previously flooded area, but I suppose I'm just putting all this on hold if I switch over to Allen anyway, so... Me stopping right there is because I heard the flapping of that uh, flag and thought it was a dude. Oh, hitch up. I don't like that that's happening. lost his sight to the ocean because he was the lighthouse keeper. I was really confused by that since water cannot take away your vision unless it's poisoned by something. This bridge got fixed quick. Oh shit, I didn't even think of that. Right, that's why I had to take the crazy long path into the woods to get there the first time. It's just a bunch of uh, wooden timbers put in the position. But uh, you know, I think that'll hold a car certainly. Oh, it's the, the mascot guys. I don't think everything's okay in Coffee World. Have you noticed? I'm getting this like off feeling every night after work. What? Are you having nightmares again? Like when you were a kid? Do you need your security blanket? You need Blanky Blankerson? <sighs> you keep Blanky out of this. When you were a kid. If... Wait, wait, if she's in her 20s, then when she was a kid, having nightmares would have been about, oh, I'd say 13 years ago, I'd guess? Oh boy. I don't remember this, actually. Did I go in this building? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting some other type of job somewhere else. 
she mean something that didn't include wearing stupid costumes for a creepy old amusement park in the crapful town that time forgot? Something like that. Yep. I don't understand the connection between Coffee World and the, uh, the Odier Diner, given that one is in Bright Falls and one is in Watery. Did the Costcolos found uh, Odier? Any job would be better than this. And any town. When my piggy bank is full enough, I'm hitting the road so hard. Are you trying to kill Dad? I know what. Don't tell him I said that. Oh, right, yeah, the guy, the, I guess they're siblings. The, uh, I think, oh, yeah, we got an email suggesting that they're, uh, uh, Elmo's, uh, what was it, his ne uh, niece and nephew? I don't know, the guy called him Uncle Ilmo anyway. Huh? Hmm. I thought I could trigger one more dialogue thing by trying to walk away again. Oh, of course I can't go into the room, the building that sounds like there's already someone in there. I can't check their power usage, though. Oh, yeah, you don't draw the gun in town. That's nice. I don't think it's because the Dark can't put dudes in town. I think it's because of the rules of the narrative. This is a horror story. You don't get the monsters showing up when other people are around. Oh, well, there... Hmm. Well, fuck it. It's a survival situation. Even if I did get caught on camera stealing bullets. Sup? Hey there. I can honestly say that's the first time someone in one of these games has responded to me doing that. Ah, oh, fresh fish, it says. Okay. That's one thing I don't remember when games started doing, but it really adds a lot to the audio. Uh, just the sound of clothes rustling against each other. Like you can hear her pants rustling against each other as she runs here. Well, in town, it's more of a light jog. Quite the show that Archie fella put on today, eh? I loved it. I had half a mind to come down and start dancing. Oh, why didn't you? You've got to grab life's gifts while you can. I'm just going to hang out by these weirdos for a bit longer. It's so quiet now. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? I'm not wearing the FBI jacket right now. I'm just a stranger with a crossbow. We're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Confirmed. Like an asshole. <laughs> oh dear, I know what Yakko needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with Ava beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Alma Beer. Alma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. <laughs> In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pipeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikannit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going <laughs> That's out. That's a word? It's all sad if it's intentional. <laughs> Alma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. Unleash your inner Wolverine with ah. Alma beer. I mean, okay. Uh... Okay, yes, yes, there is a word for that in English. It's just that day drinking carries with it a certain suggestion of, uh... <laughs> you know, you having a problem. Ah, uh, yes, Tom the Poet and all this. I love how impossible it is. 
given that uh, Wake wasn't even born until, what was it, 77, and Thomas Zane went missing in 1970. All right, let's do this. Ah, hmm. oh, TM, the janitor is my ass. In fact, let's do a manual save, because we're about to do some crazy shit. Oh, God. Let's see what happens when I look at this bucket real closely. Oh, there's a swirl of blur around it. Okay. It's like the Stargate travel effect, if the Stargate had been built by Satan and not by the Ancients. Oh yes, he'd just gotten his brain punctured by the Dark Place. Back. Or the Dark Presence. I wasn't able to escape. The Dark Presence had stopped me. You know, I was thinking, and I realized I'd that... seen the title oh. page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. Right. That's my only goal right now. Right. I got nothing on the blackboard. The was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. What does it say up here? Uh, part one, we sing. The slaughter. The last draft of initiation had brought me to my writer's room, but not the one where I was writing now. A different reality? A different time? I had died in the end. Again. The dark presence had killed me, but something had changed now. My memories of what had happened were not eaten away. Oh, so he's aware that this whole thing is happening over and over again. Great. There had been another manuscript there. The title page read, Return. Had I written it? But then I for had then forgotten about it? It felt important. It was important. I remember. Return. A loop? Fuck me, this game is so meta. Even the character knows shit before the game tells it to you. All right. Time to make the magic happen. I really wish that was a positive thing. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. God damn it, Alan. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. with imagery right there. Yes, he did that the first time. He touched his forehead. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wake. This time, oh, no. do something. I was back, and I hadn't Dodge. forgotten. An I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no Wake more surprises. What demons he wrestles with. I mean, there's already a surprise, because the interview has started, and I'm not on the stage. It's fucking scratch, you guys. It's gotta be. In the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, We'll sing it! Alan or Scratch looks really unhappy about that. Oh, maybe it is Alan. He's just done the thing where he freezes staring out into the camera so that I can... Oh, save room. Fuck yeah. And I'll save over this slot, I think. Actually, you know what? I'll save over this one since that other one over there. Initiation 4, we sing. 
Ah, yes, and here's where I switch back to uh, Saga. Oof, not a lot in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that with me. Oh, well, I'll leave that one then. Pay for all. Fair enough. Actually, no, fuck it. I'll just take that with me, and maybe if I have a problem with it, I will empty the inventory later. So it's got the one gun, after all. Alright, let's join with, with the TV and have ourselves a great time. <laughs> yeah, right. For reasons that will become abundantly clear when you watch the next video, I'm going to call this episode right here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when... we sing. <laughs> Till then, uh, enjoy the anticipation, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light.